So this is Harry's first Kong. And um hey Harry, turn around so the big keeper can see you. And I've um given it to it's his first one because I plan to give him these when uh, he has to stay in his crate for any length of time. Um obviously not more than an hour or so, but I thought I'd give him one of these. He's been very good actually in his crate. He takes himself in there to go for a little sleep and um, that's he's got a big crate downstairs but we've got a divider in, in it for him and then he's got one upstairs in the bedroom that he sleeps in at night so um, I set my clock well at the moment I'm setting my clock he goes to bed at 11 so uh, basically we have a, an hour play before bedtime hey Harry uh, uh, excuse me you don't growl when I take that away thank you very much here you are here you can have it back now <laughs> it's a good bit of training um, yeah so he's got one in the bedroom as well which he sleeps in at night and um, I've been setting my clock um, what was I saying yeah he has his last play outside at 11 and then we go to bed and he is so good he just settles down really quickly and I set my clock for half past three at the moment to take him out in the night for uh, his business which he's been doing. I don't turn any lights on or anything like that. And he comes down straight in the garden. I don't talk to him. Just say be quick, which is his signal to have a wee or, or whatever. Um, and he usually goes within a couple of minutes. And then we go straight back up to bed. Again, no talking, no big lights on. I keep a little light, like a night light on downstairs so I can see where I'm going when I get out with him. And uh, yeah, he goes back to bed. And this morning, we did that and then he woke me up at seven o'clock um, so I left him until he was quiet because he was like just having a bit of a cry so I won't open the crate until he's finished crying <clears throat> and then we came down and he had another wee and um, and then we had breakfast at eight and he's been so good all day he's had his first visit to the vet today for his first um, injections his inoculations he's got to go back in two weeks time to have the second lot and we've had visitors this afternoon Harry nobody can see you darling no one can see you and then we've had visitors this afternoon and he's been a delight he really has and with regard to house training he's had no uh, well that's a lie he had one accident indoors um, but not on my watch <laughs> <laughs> that was with Ken today when he was um, I went up to get shower and get dressed and I left him with Ken and he had a little wee in the kitchen but by the back door so he obviously knew he had to go out but he just didn't make it in time um, but other than that he's been really really good I'm absolutely over the moon with him with his house training um, but that is it is hard work because I'm taking him out every 40 minutes or an hour to um, and after sleep after eating and I just know to be honest I don't know what it is but I just seem to know when he wants to go um, so yeah he's been really really good um, we've done some training he's had uh, he does some um, we've done heel work and we've we know sit now and wait and stay he knows stay um, which for like a couple of seconds or so. I've only chanced it for about what 10 seconds at the most um obviously to to obviously stop any mistakes but um he knows what that means and he knows what sit means definitely and his favorite training tree is um cooked chicken which i don't blame him cooked chicken um I'll see if i can see the front of him because you can't see him really can because he's back end there he is he's eating his kong so he should be getting through the, they're frozen as well by the way, I froze, I freeze his Kong so they obviously take longer. Oh yeah he is, I can see the kibble in the middle so he knows that's in there. So he's waiting to get inside to get that out. And he looks like he's really enjoying it. So Harry today um, is eight weeks and six days, he'll be nine weeks tomorrow. And he has been such a good boy, he's a delight to have and I'm so pleased with him. He's very good. So another update soon, guys. Lots of love. Bye.